It was a curious sort of dance, the horse thought, as he watched his master day after day. Every year when the floods came and the ground began to shimmer, they would travel to the same place. A ruthless run of some kind or another, where the rider would pitch his tent against the wall, and spend the days by the shallow plain of water which sat at the base of the little hill beneath the fading walls. Together they would trot down to the water's edge, where the rider would dismount and stride over to the mirror. There he would watch himself, staring distorted back from the flood, and begin to move. No rhythm guided his movements. He simply swayed and flailed, contorting his form but never shifting the fix of his gaze, which stood frozen on the man in the waters. His own glare returned with an icy fury. For days the horse had watched as the two figures were locked in their ritual, until the damper man disappeared with the appearance of the moon, and the rider trudged back to his steed with a smile on his face. Shifting his hooves carefully, the horse watched the performance with curiosity. He could see the battle rising swiftly until it flowered into a crescendo. The rider spun, breaking contact with the reflection for the first time as he turned his back. The reflection's eyes widened in surprise. Stillness gripped the three of them as each looked on, mesmerised. A breeze rolled across the water, spreading into ripples, and the reflection began to run. The horse cantered forwards to meet his rider who swung effortlessly onto his back. They sprinted through the shallows. The rider lay flat against the horse as the two sped after the reflection. Soon the end of the chase was in sight. The blurry flicker grew larger by the second as the two approached, still gathering speed. The horse watched his own reflection galloping by their side, tethered to his legs as the same mane streamed in the wind. He pushed harder, feeling the rider's focus on the figure in front. He turned to see the reflection's crippled face grinning as he reached out a watery hand. A wave of joy passed over the creature as he dipped his head to forge over the remaining distance. His hooves skittered as an abrupt ease fell over him and the weight on his back lessened. He flickered to a canter as he felt the grip of his rider weaken. His body rose from the horses. Hooves clattered in the soft mud as the rider gently fell from his friend and clattered to the ground just feet from where his reflection now stood. He lay there, still. The shock of terror eased as the horse noticed the rider was still breathing. He watched nervously as the reflection waded over to where the man had fallen. It crouched, eyes glistening, a veil of passive pretense painted over his waving face. It stared down at the rider with a tilted head. The horse thought he saw a moment of pain before it sprung back to its feet as the rider stirred. It began to slowly creep backwards, its flickering eyes never leaving the broken man. Arms groped at the horse's legs. He gently lowered his neck to provide a brace which the rider used to haul himself to his feet. He looked weak. He slowly brushed his hand over the horse's face as he raised his weary head to find the shrinking form of his own reflection. The two's gaze had found one another again sharing only a shimmering moment before the reflection shook its blazing face and took flight again, disappearing into the shining surface of the shallow water. The rider remounted his companion and stared stiffly into the flooded plain. The horse nodded, a gesture his own reflection returned as the two wandered together where the image of the rider might have fled.